points there. And now he is back in Grand Finals. John Numbers versus Mr. E, the final member of our carpool. Can he slay all three of us? I mean, he's already done it. You know, Numbers did come up short on winner's side, right? The tail of the footstool really was that game, the tail of the spike. These two were setting off the, each other off the blast zone every single stock, and Mr. E already looking for it. We're gonna see so much of this game and the set fought off stage because that's where WeFit likes to be, but that's also where Lucina wants to put you. Yeah, and Mystery, one of the few people that will just go out there and fight John. As you should, right? Because WeFit likes being off stage because it gives her a space that people are afraid to contest her because of those spikes. But when you have a sword like Lucina, when you have the ability to edge guard WeFit like she does, you can just smother her like you would rush down any zoner. And Mystery is just doing that in the air off stage, but Man, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't matter. Yeah, no. It, stocks are just getting lost out here. And they are not being found. All right, both players neutral get uping right there. John likes to do that up tilt because you have an intangible um, on the arm. So if you do do the neutral get up or like jump, you just get caught and it leads into a combo. And we just saw John Numbers' favorite get up, up uh, way to regain stage control, which is get up attack into header. He yeah. does it all the time and nobody punishes him for well, it. Well, it's super hard to like punish because you can mix up the timing of the header. So it's not a direct timing, you're timing John at that point. Yeah. And you also, you know, and you can, you know, try and play around the header, punish it, you know and play around the projectile rather than actually just try and contest the start of a hitbox, but it's scary to do because that header, again, can hit so hard and numbers can kind of oh, set up into it so many times, but just wasn't looking for that spike, just not wanting to commit the soccer ball, the hitbox flag extension there with the F tilt from the back hitbox and allowed the front hitbox to connect. That was really creative for him. Yeah, no, it definitely was. And you're seeing the run-up jab and no jump. Mr. E. Go, he, stock's going down. It definitely felt like he thought he had a jump. Though, yeah. Right? Like, it definitely, even though he, it, Mr. E is one of the masters of not showing you what he's thinking, in, in on his face while he's playing the game, you could see there is a little bit of frustration, and you can see now as well, right, the flinch on that F smash. You know how badly he wants to find this stock. Uh, he's ha had it in grand or in winner's side, but just not able to close out here. Finally doing so with the edge guard, but numbers now with a 60% lead. You've got deep breathing. You've got a full salute the sun. You can kind of do whatever you want here at this point as we fit. Yeah, no, definitely. Oh, okay. Getting here right there. It's uh, definitely yeah. felt like numbers just ran with it. Yeah, that. Sorry. I'm just. You don't see we fit down smash there. Yeah, we normally do not, but numbers knows it's going to send at such a, like the Sakurai angle, it's called, and which is basically that. If you, for casual viewers, if you jiggle clubs like uh, Final Smash. Also, that juggle is so cool. The down air into up air into... Oh, no, it, it was dope. <laughs> Numbers is so good at that. Like, we talk about him being the king of the header, right? Being the yeah. king of the soccer ball. But are we sure this man doesn't play basketball? Because he is the best player I've ever seen at dribbling you across the stage. Yo, I played some basketball with John. John, John can play. John can hoop? John can hoop. <laughs> White man can jump. <laughs> Oh man, oh man. Now now you're making me want to play basketball. If John Numbers is, we're getting into game number two here, swapping over to Battlefield. This counter pick from Mr. E gonna make it a little bit harder for John to find some of those jugglers we were talking about by giving you more escape routes and more shelter from the soccer balls with this top platform while also making it easier to Lucina to track your juggle situation. Yeah, I, I know you were talking right there, but Mr. E had some of the coolest 28%. Dude, it was, it was gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. This red John like six times and just it was 28 percent but man it kind of looked cool see this is how we all feel yeah veggie every time we watch web jp play yeah. it's like man wasn't that the coolest 28 percent you've ever seen but mr e show you we can do it no matter what character you're playing you're piloting it doesn't just have to be chic now trying to find the edge guard lining up those uh, uh, those very disciplined and Drop, dropping off into the drop zone, saving the double jump to try and oh. force out ex extra resources from yeah. numbers. Yeah, it's ball. very safe, and Lucina's so good at it. Yeah. For those that don't know, ball is still active. As, if it's moving, it's most likely active. Yes. At, it has to be a certain speed. Once it goes past this, like, slower than a certain speed, then it stops being active. So Mr. E got hit on the one back of it, and John just walks up down tilts. But... Uh, 
And this is the thing with numbers, right? Downhill, not a very fast option from Weef. It has a lot of end lag. Normally not the get off me tool you'd expect to see. But because of the hurt box shift, because of the timings that observed, you see numbers get away with so many of them. There, Mr. E gonna find the stock, even up the count. But John finding up the forward air up till yeah. Mr. E is holding in on some of these forward or low percent forward airs from John numbers. Yeah, they he's getting called out a bunch and even you can see it through these like dashes and there's John is doing just knowing Mr. E's movement and seeing him kind of just being frustrated to point I like that from Mr. Oh. E and back from numbers Holy trying shit. to find the the down the sour spot down there to pressure him off stage but numbers passing it back to himself oh that was one of the coolest bikes you'll ever see yeah I'm, I'm telling you he can hoop well, like, uh, again, he can, he, it, it's not even just the dribbling, this man can dunk, too! Yeah. That time, though, Mr. E gonna block the shot, close out the stock, and bring it to a last hit scene, or last stock scenario, but having to spend all his resources just to get back to the stage, barely able to do so because of that overextension from Mr. Numbers, but with save control on his side, a soccer ball to boot, the coverage is too much, and Mr. E gonna just keep holding out there yeah. on the drift out of hit stun and send himself to the blast zone. That's r really rare from him. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't normally see him as frustrated to, like, yeah. just reset I was gonna say, I don't think I've ever seen him outside of loser's bracket at a major after he's gotten upset. This visibly frustrated. Yeah. But also, dude, the, like, that was new, too. He hit it off stage and was ready for it. He preemptively, before so. it hit, he was jumping backwards before it hit Mr. Yeah. E! How are you prepped for this? <laughs> Bro, I don't... I don't know. He's, that's why he's John Numbers, man. The calculations yeah. are infinite. He just knows. And yeah, just the parries are on point. He is locked in. And really, the story of that in game one was just John's ability to close, right? Like, both in loser in winner's semis and in winner's finals, Mr. E was down a full stock with it set on the line and was able to bring it back. So it's not like he's been consistently in the lead in these situations. Yet, here we are, are seeing him getting himself put down again early on in grand finals, but just wasn't able to bring it back that time. It's gonna be, can he continue to find these clutch situations like he was in the beginner's half of top eight? Or is that luck, is that co and combination of skill finally gonna start running out? Yeah, I do not know, but I do know this. We will get a banger set, nonetheless. And Mr. E, as Mr. E tries to go off stage and punish John, but a sun salutation for his troubles. John has the lead, but Mr. E brings it back to two stocks And that whole situation was so wacky. Numbers called out his, baited out the ledge drop the, into the drop zone from his own, based on his positioning, punished it with a salute the sun, but then jumped to platform, meaning that he had to shield wiggle to try and prevent the poke from Mr. E in response, who still managed to, through phantom pressure, find the stock out, and now set up this situation where offstage numbers gonna rarely miss the breathing, gonna give Mr. E a potential edge guard here, but not able to convert it. Beautiful scrap from both players. No, definitely. All right. Numbers try going off stage to fight Mr. E once more. Oh! He's Mr. done that twice now. Yeah. With numbers. He's called out those counters, been ready for the first one we've seen from Mr. E all tournament over in winners finals, and then in losers finding that second one as well. Just he knows he knows exactly when Mr. E is gonna counter. And it's incredible there, Mr. E though calling out the jump, finding the neutral air and closing out about his bread and butter as a loop who's seen Edge Guard as you'll ever see. Yeah. I don't think John has a jump. Uh he does not, but he has a soccer ball, and as I like to say, when there's a soccer ball, when there's a header, my friend, there is a way back to stage. It's so good at covering your momentum, but Mr. E finally waiting out the timing, right? We, you talked about it being variable and hard to call out. That time, Mr. E fast, fast felt to bait out the later timing, yeah. but saved his jump so that he could find his way around it, regardless of how, how John decided to mi mix the slight angle at the end and close it out. out out. It's such a, yeah. both of these edge guards, dude, are so good. This is quick. so good. Just drop under and then call them out.
Yep. Drifting in. And this is, the, yeah, that's what I was saying, like, as well, though. It's such a, a bread and butter that we've seen at Edgeguard, but it's also so good around the way numbers is playing consistently. And watch this, right? Does it again. Drops underneath. Fast falls to bait out the specific angle to limit that variability you were mentioning before, and then still cleans it up. Yeah. And I like Mystery's patience right there, just waiting for John to, like, make the first move. And how do you feel here about now, you know, numbers counterpicking this back to FD, a stage with no platforms, or, so, and somewhere we don't often see him take Wii Fit Trainer? So, I he's been juggling Mystery to, like, a good extent, so I do see the reason. Also forcing, like, the interactions there. But the big thing here is, well, I think both players, like, like the stage Absolutely. in general. Agree. So, they've definitely struck here so many times before. And it's gone either way. So, I think this is just a comfort pick for, like, like, yo, I've been beating you on the stage a lot today. I think I can, I got it. Agreed. I, I think it does have, right, the potential, you know, it's less variability for those header setups that have also been doing a lot of work against Mr. E, but I think he feels that as, you know, this set has gone on, right, we've seen Mr. E start to catch on to the timing mix-ups more and more, and, and these recovery mix-ups offstage, that he just wants a little bit more space unimpeded with which to work, rather than, and to find the juggles, rather than for some of the fancier things that just haven't been working as well. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. And, oh, okay, John is so good at that with the fade back, and I've never seen him punish, like, either, like, hard or at all for, like, those drip backs. That was the gutsiest dash dance from John Numbers. So yeah. Right in front of Lucina, a uh, shield in a range where your turnaround could get punished by the Dolphin Slash if yeah. Mr. E really wanted to call it out, but just wasn't committing to it. Down air in, into the back air, the classic Lucina to send you off stage, set you up covering so much space is there when you're stuck in the corner, but somehow Numbers just through full hops alone willed his way back to the neutral. Yeah, no, this game's about call outs, neutral. So, where it's year five of the game, we're seeing a lot more plays where it's like, yo, I'm gonna go in your zone and go right back out. And I don't think, I know you as a player because you've been playing for so many years, you're not gonna do shit about it. And, and these are a few players too, right, who definitely rely on patience, 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 call out as part of their general play style as well. Yeah. So it's not just the experience and it's not just, you know, how much they played each other, but in addition, it's just what they're good at as players. Yeah. And so you see it on just another level in the set, even compared to most top level league play. Yeah, Mystery once not known for that, just play style changed so much that he became so good at that. He was known for the aggression a lot before. So, great that, that's something he's been working on. Yeah, I think as he's just gotten older and kind of matured in the Smash scene too, right, we're seeing that in his game, kind of reflected yeah. in his gameplay. A very much an elder statesman of the scene at this point, Num as is John Numbers, who's trying to find his way back to the stage, getting the double roll through like this is online, but going for the jab setup and Mr. E just leaping over, already ready with the neutral, finding the way to oh furthest away, but Numbers, again? We're, yeah, Mr. E laughing at that, but yeah, no. He He's getting outplayed here. Is this here. John Numbers or DeBuzz the way we're seeing these 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 alley-oops to yeah. himself? I, you would think that he's a pup, like has a puppet with these soccer balls. Oh. I, I swear, there Numbers consistently shows me things with soccer balls that I just didn't think were possible yeah. in Ultimate. But the Numbers taking the lead right there. Mr. E trying to go off stage to fight him. That is not the move. Oh, delaying so he doesn't get spiked. I like the charge there on numbers, right? Trying to bait Mr. E to find a jump in, recognizing how fast he can cancel it. Mr. E starting to fall for it, but just backing off in the nick of time, having to just find some pressure, keeping this tech chase going and to force numbers to try and panic. But these two playing so patient. You see though, the nerves are starting to get at Mr. E, biting the lip there as he finds the scramble situation and just the reset. He's trying to slow this down, give himself an opportunity to breathe, to not let this pressure that is expressing itself on his face get into his head. Yeah. Okay, down to Numbers trying to get the reversal. Missing the neutral getup timing. Numbers with the reversal. He bet it all on black right there. I love that Numbers is just like, you know, I'm in the corner. I just got off ledge. There's a Lucina directly next to me. 
whose sword I am in range of. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna F smash. Yeah. Well, he shielded and knows you have mm -hmm. the timing to punish that. Absolutely. But it's more like Mr. E just messing up the timing for it. And it's a really risky play because it's like he wanted the game to end right there. And it's, it's also, but it's also saying, you know I'm gonna, I, I might go for this. Yeah. And I know you know that, so I'm gonna go for it anyways because you think that because I think you know, you're not gonna do it, right? Yeah. And he's just saying, I'm gonna force you to have it, just like you would in a card game, and just not able to do so. Oh, so John eviling it up and bringing us to one last game here for the night at Zeno. Yeah. Well, we went the distance right now. As we should, man. This is just an absolute treat every time these two play. So you know I'm always down for the maximum number of games. Same. As long as they bring me into the carpool. <laughs> <laughs> Benny's like, bring me with me and I'll be here as long as you want. Yeah. All right. Punishing the re-grab. And yet, we're back on Battlefield. What do you think about this ritual? I, I like this stage for a game number three here for Mr. E. Obviously, right, we, he, he saw, he's seen some success earlier in the, the these sets here in Grand Finals and also in Winner's Finals, bringing numbers to this stage. It, because, again, you don't get to set up these falling aerials that numbers loves to, to do, like these down airs. There's, there's, Lucina can apply so much pressure off the ledge edge. But the juggles as well, the Dolphin Slashes, are so much harder to punish because of the presence of that top platform. It just gives Mr. E a playground for these Wavelands, for these Dolphin Slashes, and to find ways to be ambiguous with his pressure based on movement alone. Yeah, we're definitely seeing a lot more Dolphin Slashes coming out. He, Mr. E was holding up shields before this, and now it's just Dolphin Slashing saying, yeah, this is not my defensive are timing anymore, but the me? reversal! Bro, that was... Down air missed it almost as he dolphin slash numbers hit the tech into immediate header to fuck on the next dolphin slash to find the stop. What a crazy interaction that time numbers missing attack and you could tell right like, that man was not happy about it. Yeah. It's gonna give Mr. E a chance to find now one more stop to win this week Zeno here 322. But numbers still not out of this yet. We've seen him steal socks faster than this. Oh no, definitely. All right, just jump up, empty hop, into your face, grab you. Oh no, though. Did you see that overextension from numbers? Full aggression mode. That's when this man's putting it all on the line and doing it now with two stocks left is unusual from him. He needs to find the stock faster. He might let his own design need to, to find a way back into this, overpower his patience, going to do so just when he needs it, though, Reggie. And yeah. That might have been the last potential interaction for him to find that stock and keep himself in this one. Yeah, no, definitely. And, okay, we've seen the juggle situations coming from Mr. E. Just trying to keep it calm. Numbers can bring this back. Is known to bring this back. Deep breathing is a pseudo comeback mechanic. However, watch the way Mr. E is shadowing his landing. Yeah. He's shadowing his offstage position. Keeping himself at this perfect vertical 45 where your below or header can hit you, but where losing a jump plus that back air rising up is able to find a mark. Or he's not giving numbers opportunities on, he's, he's to find deep breathing uncontested. And in doing so, numbers has to waste half the time even getting in a position of deep breathing to even get yo, in a position. Yo, yo, it. yo. 101%. So, yeah, he brought this one all the way back, my yeah. friend. Both of them actual percent. Mr. E is whipping. One back air. John Numbers has the advantage here, but just going to reset, try and charge the salute to the sun. The whiff on the Dolphin Slash going the wrong direction. He's a back oh, off of the down air. Out. Call out. We were talking, Reggie, about that being the story of the set, and it's what it came down to. Ooh, numbers went and read a book, and it paid off, my friend, pulling into the T out of the encyclopedia. Yeah, everything just went his way, just called Mr. E out, was in his head, said, this stock is mine. And I, I just want to see what percent Mr. E took that, like, second stock. Bro, it it was literally, like, fit. Like, it was crazy, man. This, for, like, this whole exchange. This is, yeah. Downer, the scrap, the soccer ball, lines up the first one, hits the spike, Mr. E finds it, and oh, still damn. closes it out. Look at the coverage, and the crazy part is, that's a full commitment from John, because the soccer ball fell out from the last one. He doesn't get a new one spawning. Yeah, no. So many, and only 59% on Mystery and John just able to bring this all the way back. Mm -hmm. Not the best DI right there, but managed to deal 81%. 
And at 125 on Battlefield 2, right? Yeah. The blast zones aren't super large. You kind of maybe you're expecting Ham pretty close to dead yeah. anyways, based on the deep breathing timing. So I get it, but that time. Mr. E was trying to be ambiguous about whether he was sliding off plat, yeah. dropping through, or jumping to the top one. And so Numbers said, okay, I'm going to catch your initial dash before you can do any of that. And in case I'm a little slow, it's going to be down air, air. Because Sweet Spot combos into up air here. Sour Spot just kills you. And it covers the jump. It covers the runoff. And, you ha and it covers the dash in. You have to just drop through plat immediately if you want to avoid that. Yeah, you, you just can't be in that area. That's the big thing. Looks like Numbers wants to maybe say something. Speech. Okay. Oh, we're taking it from Reggie? I, w I was going to hand you mine. Holy fucking shit. How are you feeling right now, John? That was crazy. Bro, that was... Those three sets were just call out central, man. Absolutely, absolutely incredible stuff tonight. All right. Thank you. All right, so we're going to wrap it up here. That was Xeno Weekly's... What number was this? Uh, 322. 322 of them. Yeah. 50. Is this yeah. the last one before Christ the New Year? Oh, uh, no. No. But no. I don't know. So I don't know what holidays we're all it's for. It's every Wednesday. Venue is $8. Entry is 7 you can Sign up on StartGG. Please follow us on Twitch right now. Well, subscribe. What are you doing? Yeah. And what are you, why are you not follow already? Follow Devin. 3,000. Hashtag free HO 3 k yeah. Help them get their Twitter back. <laughs> support. Support. Again. De support Devin. <laughs> Oh, also, hire this man at like events. One of the greatest but things. Hire him at everything yeah. ever out all there. The, all the socials. <laughs> and when you're trying to hire Devin and you're wondering, how do we get in contact with him? This is how. Yeah. All Yo. of these platforms are where House of 3000 it's, can be found and where YouTube they uploads. should be found. Yeah, dude. The crazy thing is this tournament's over and I'm all pretty sure all, every set... Autobahn At least no. set grand, set grand, no, we're, grand we're, set yeah. one might be on. We're, we're, we're live. We're live. All, all the normal they're stream, all, there. all the Soon. normal stream matches are Soon, yeah. up immediately. We're, we're, the, the quad ones do we're, take some time. Yes. We're, we're lying. We're lying. Just all, the, even the quad ones are up right yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Yeah, they're <laughs> we all are up. live. Yeah. Everything is up. Everything is up. Spreading just, misinformation on the internet, yeah. but. HO3K not only will produce the most VODs of yeah. any local you've ever seen, they're yeah. also going to have them uploaded before any local you've ever yeah, seen. No, and that's a crazy combination. It's definitely one of the reasons why I'm coming here more. Dude, I mean, if you want... I'm going to be real. I went 0-2 tonight. Every set that I played in bracket, every game, yeah, is recorded. And with, and I'm, I'm able to go tomorrow... Or, or potentially even by the time I'm off the subway and go and review them. That's insane. That is insane. Yep. That, that's dope. I can watch mm -hmm. how I lost to numbers. 4K. <laughs> and it gets slowed down, replayed, oh, no. everything gets broken oh. down so you can see in the most excruciating detail R just what you need to work on here at Xeno. Rip my carpool. All right, so we're going to wrap it up here. I'm player for... And I'm Ritual. You can find me on Twitter down below at RitualCasts. It's also my Instagram and, and my Twitch. Uh, you can follow Reggie at... On Twitter. Yeah. And, P -I -A -Y -E -R and, for yeah. P-I-A-Y-E-R-4. Yeah. That was not, guys. P-I-R-4. Also on Twitch. Same thing. And, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here. Have a good night, everybody. See you next Peace. week, folks. Deuces.